Grace is back on my channel. You haven't seen her in a while because as you know I moved and now we live like 30 minutes away from each other. But she's spending the night and we decided that we were going to film a making lip balm video. So I got this from a store called Five Below. I think it was like three bucks. So I haven't even opened it yet, so let's open it and see what we have to do. I saw a video like this and I think we're going to have to boil water, which is why I was lazy and didn't film this until now. I have so much tape. You have balls. <laughs> I need to have like scissors and stuff. these little bags in the box and I don't know why. It's a cute box. Okay, so let's open it up and see what it comes with. Looks like it comes with two um, lip balm like containers. It comes with a little bag of wax chips. Oh, three lip balm containers. A bag of wax chips, a wax base, three different little flavor thingies and it also comes with a little measuring cup, a mixing cup, and a mixer. So let's see what we have to do. We need the wax face, the wax chips. I need to get a small measuring cup. We need a spoon, which I think this will work. A spatula, three fruity flavors, or is this a measuring cup? That might be the measuring cup. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> three fruity flavors, three lip balm containers, one cup bowl. Okay. We need a cup or a bowl, a marker. Those two things are not included. Before you begin, set up your area, cover your work area with paper towels or newspaper. It's not important. Okay. Using the spoon, place three scoops of wax base into the small measuring cup. There's enough wax base to fill up three lip balm containers. Add approximately 20 to 21 wax chips. For harder balm, add more wax beads. For a softer balm, use less wax beads. Have an adult fill a shallow cup or bowl large enough for the measuring cup to fit inside, halfway with boiling water. So before we go any further, we need to go boil water. So we will be back. Okay guys, so we went and boiled water. I don't have a bowl to put it in, so I just left it in this. Um, so, do you want to get directions of what we need to do? I think it said 20 wax chips. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we need to get 20 wax chips. If I can open the wax chips. I just cannot open anything this morning. You would think you would, okay. For some reason, we can try the other side. Now we have to count out wax chips. So, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, so that is 20 wax chips. What does it say to do next? Read the third sentence. Place the measuring cup inside the cup with bowl and water. Use one hand to firmly hold the measuring cup down and on the hand, other hand to stir the mixture with the spatula. As you stir, the base will soften and the colors will burn. Okay. So, I'm pretty sure I need to add this. Uh, I saw in Rachel, Rachel Ballinger's video that it doesn't say to add these at the first part, but there are no colors in it if you don't. So, I don't know how many of these add. I think it was like seven. Okay, so I used the berry one for this. Now let's, this is very, very warm. So now we just have to stir until this melts, basically. Which again, I saw in her video, the wax just don't melt all that well. So I'm not sure how long this is going to take. You can definitely smell the berry when you heat it up.
but we do after these melts. Since we already put the colors in there, we don't do that afterwards. So let it dry for two hours. You put it. You put it in the thing. Do we add the wax? Other wax. When do we add the wax base? I can't read directions. Does it even say when to add the wax base? We're trying to figure out when the wax base gets added. And it doesn't say. Like how much? Do you want to stay in this while I look? No. Yeah. Okay. So Grace is going to finish doing as well. I'm trying to figure out when we're supposed to add wax base because I don't see it. Let's see. Place the measuring cup and then cup and then cup with boiling water. Use one hand to firmly hold the measuring cup down. Uh -huh. Keep stirring until the formula turns to liquid. Once this is done, add approximately six to eight drops of your favorite color, flavorings, and colors. Mix together and simply pour your lip balm into the container. Use the spatula to scrape the side of the container as needed. Flavor droppers should be shaken well before eating. Forgot that part. Oops. I agree with her. She had a very similar kit to this in her video, and you really need to say that at the beginning. Let dry for at least two hours. Lip balm hard to time may vary depending on the temperature of the room. And then you can label them whatever you want. Let's see. So, I'm not entirely sure when you're supposed to add the wax base or how much. Um, surely you need the wax base. Is it good? Is it liquid? Yes. Um, Okay, I need, we need to also read the bottom part. Using the spoon, place about one scoop of wax base into the small measuring cup. Then add the wax to it. Blah, blah, blah. Boiling water. Okay. So I'm going to add a spoonful of this. And then it'll need to melt as well. Do you want to use that to like scrape it in there? Yeah. These are so tiny. This is hot. Yeah, it's boiling water. That's why you're supposed to have an adult. But we don't have an adult. No, we don't. And we are not qualified adults. No. I burn myself regularly in the kitchen. I know, these things are like so small and like getting them like to work is just like really difficult. I don't want to touch the pan. Don't do that. Okay. That leads to melt. Andrew's going to kill me when there's stuff all over the tables. <laughs> I took these tables out of my living room because I don't have a table in here right now. And uh, I'm going to have to clean these off before I put them back. Let's see. After that turns to liquid, um, while well, we've done that, then we're going to put them in the containers and wait for them to harden. So since that's the berry one, I think you should put it in the heat container. It's like already melted. If it's liquid, we can pour it in. Do you want to pour it in or do you want me to pour it in? We can pour it in. Okay. <laughs> yeah, technically, out of the two of us, I'm the most adult because I'm like always 23. But I will probably still manage to burn myself. So we're going to like put this in here. I feel like it doesn't seem like enough. Mm -hmm. It really doesn't seem like this makes like enough liquid. But like we added the amount that we were supposed to. So I'm not really sure how much more we were supposed to add. Because it's supposed to make enough to fill all three of these. But 
but like if you I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's not even filling like half of it. No. No. Hmm. Do we need to like melt more? This stuff also like starts to harden like really quickly, so it's already like hardening. So we're gonna work on melting more and filling all of these and then we'll be back and show you guys once they are dry. Okay guys, so it's been two or three hours since we put these, we actually stuck these in the fridge to harden up. Um, we just decided to leave them for a while, so we haven't labeled them or anything. I don't know what you would wanna call these, um, but we're just gonna like test them out and let you know how well they work. Which one do you want? <laughs> so I think this is vanilla and citrus, mm -hmm. and then that one is berry. So we're just gonna kind of test these. There's no thing coming up. Yeah, I'm not expecting much from these. This one kind of is coming up, but it's not at all. I guess we'll like put them on our lips and see what happens. Okay. I just... <laughs> I mean, it's not bad. This is a, not a bad lip balm. They definitely did not fill these things. They didn't really come out well. Um, I don't know if we did something wrong. I don't think we did. Mm -hmm. But yeah, they don't look great. They're, they look kind of weird. But I mean, my lips do feel soft. Like um, As far as like, a lip balm, they work. Mm -hmm. They smell nice. Like The scents are pretty good. Like, you can actually smell like the vanilla, you can smell the berry. So, it's not a complete fill. Would I recommend the kit? If you have a kid and they just want to do a fun project, and you have like a couple hours, sure, why not? As far as like an actual product, if you want a lip balm, you might as well just go to Walmart or something and buy one. Um, but these are not bad. Like, I would say these would work. Like, these are moisturizing, they feel good on your lips, but yeah. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Let me know if you guys want to see more of these videos. And let me know if you want Grace to do these videos more. Because hopefully she'll be coming over more often. And I'll see you guys later. Bye guys!